Hello everyone, in this video we are going to teach you how you can update your contact attribute by Excel and also how you can use Excel to send out a broadcast to your dedicated clients. So first of all, let's go to the contact page. Here you will see um, download sample Excel. So you simply need to click download and open the file. So I've already opened right here. What you need to do here is, um, if you would like to upload your client's contact in bulk, you can upload it directly here. And also you can update the contact attribute here. So what you can do here, for example, is that um, I will upload a Wati crystal number and uh, for example, this number and allow broadcast will also be true, allow SMS be true. And then I can update the attribute. So what I can do here, for example, gender. Um, let's say M and then another is app. And let's say city. So um, let's say I am in Delhi. One is Delhi, one is Hong Kong, for example. So right, you only need to update the attribute here. So the name. The attribute name will be in the column, the first row here. And later on, the value you would like to be like as a variable of each different client, then you can input here in the cell below as well, corresponding to the number, right? So you need to save this. And later on, you can easily upload here and it will show up in your contact attribute. So the next thing is how you can send out a broadcast with Excel. So if you go to the broadcast page, make sure you have a template already approved for your broadcast message. And now um, just need to select the broadcast message you would like to send out. Go to new broadcast. And here is how you can select your template message to send out, schedule a date and time, and also to whom, which is to um, a specific list of your client. So let's say um, this is a test, um, then you have the date today, for example. And I'll select a test, what? Oh, it's Wati test. And choose the date and time. This is remain and change time, it was that one minute later. And here is um, your media file. And next, here will be the, the part that you can upload the Excel sheet that you have saved before. Right here, you will see that you can upload it and you just need to select the Excel sheet that we update just now to upload here. Right, so I go to download and then this is the one that I upload before. Okay, so you see that new contact is here. Quality test. And then you can see which number is valid, which number is invalid. Invalid means there is no WhatsApp account for this number or it is a wrong number. So that was a test number I put in before. So that is a wrong number. But speak of what it has, is a valid number, so your broadcast will be able to send out to the valid, uh, valid contact, which is one here. So you simply need to upload and then click Add Broadcast to send to the dedicated number that you would like to send to. Of course now, we only have two contacts here, but if you would like to send both, you can add um, up to a thousand contacts per day if you're in tier one. So it is how you can easily send out a broadcast with the Excel sheet provided by Wati. Make sure you're not changing any column, any first four column here. A, B, C, D shall not be changed. So you must include your uh, name for the client, which is um, uh, the WhatsApp name. And secondly, the phone number, remember, always put the country code. If you're in Hong Kong, then put uh, 852. If you're in India, put 91, for example. That will be um, the complete WhatsApp number to send to. And allow broadcast and SMS always uh, put it true. If not, you will not be able to send broadcast to the client as well. 
So I hope that will be useful for you to easily send out your message to the client. Thank you.